to rob C.J. Krohn of a long ball. Wow. You bet you, Tyler Clifford. Drake delivers as a drive to right field, hit deep, back by the bullpen gate, it goes, and it is gone! Stubbs the right fielder jumped and couldn't get it, just to the right of the 380 foot marker, David Ortiz ties Mickey Mantle with his 536 home run, 10-2 Red Sox. There's another drive, deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another one, up into the billboard for another three-run homer. That's sick. He's driven in eight runs today. His third home run of the afternoon. Goodness gracious, Mookie Betts. What a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Four for four, three home runs, eight RBIs. Every time he touches one off, it's a no-doubter. High fly ball, well tagged this time, and Junior Gore to the track, the wall makes the leap and makes the catch. Amazing catch by Junior as he takes a home run away. From MLB's coverage of baseball on the show brings us to the home of the Braves, Sun Trust Park. Tonight it's game three of this four-game set between the New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves. Two of the best bats in the business go at it next on the show. Jaime Garcia gets the starting assignment for the Braves. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, as I look at this game, there's one number that jumps out to me. Opposing right-handed batters have hit under 200. He has dominated them. So I know he's looking at this lineup and figuring out who are the guys I can get out. And I right now look right at those right-handed hitters. Stepping in, Curtis Granderson hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. And that misses as well. So that might portend some trouble tonight as he begins the game with four wide ones. Exactly. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think and they were probably just saying, hey, Cabrera. we're not going to compound our mistakes here. Better issue a free pass and give him something to drive. He's set. Here's the 3 1. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Marcakis racing back and just short of a home run. This ball's off the wall. That's what good hitters do. You get a pitch you like and you just explode on it. Not he blasted first. that one over no, the left fielder's head 52. for an easy double. Ioannis Cespedes. In now, Joanna Cespedes. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. H, these Braves as they take the field here tonight. They've had it going the last 10 games. They're seven and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Well, they won their game last night. I think that's a big sign. They're starting to play good baseball. I talked to the manager. He loves how they compete. Three one count to this guy. You don't want to challenge him right here. Don't give him anything to hit. No, no, no. Keep it on the corner. Fouled straight back. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. And the runner from third crosses the plate. And the second run will score as that makes it a two-nothing ball game. Well, you love to jump out to an early lead in the first inning right there. Two runs will give you that little bit of cushion to see if the game gets into a good flow for you. Standing in now, Jay Bruce. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Garcia ready the one two skied into very shallow right Kemp has a read on it and he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. 
Here's Neil Walker. Walker. The head-to-head -head line against Walker. Garcia. Two hits in seven tries. Runners on first with one down. Runners off for second. Hit strike three called. The throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. They ran the risk of a strike him out, throw him out play there, but that was a good job of getting in there successfully. On three and two, there's a decent chance the hitter puts the ball in place, so it can be a good time to be aggressive just like that. Into the box, Lucas Duda, and that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Some guys take a little time to find the zone, but with the second walk Nine of the first seven. inning, it might be a little more Third than base, just settling five. in here. Not sure Three how long of a leash right. they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. A ball and two strikes, here it is. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base, and after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and two left. And we'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Mets lead it two to nothing. Matt Harvey, a native of Connecticut, will be doing the pitching in this one. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, he has really struggled his last three outings. The ERA totally inflated. It's over five. When you look at that, that's too many runs he's given up. He's just not giving his team a chance to even get out the gate and win the game. Here's Ender Inciarte. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Here's the one and one delivery. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. Cespedes will get there as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first down. Here's Brandon Phillips. He carries the eighth best batting average in the National League entering play. Smoke toward the hole. Fielded cleanly by Walker. Throw to first takes care of Phillips and he's retired for out number two. Batting third. Stepping up Freddy. to the plate, Freddie Freeman. Freeman. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Harvey steps into his windup. 1-1 one, one on its way. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. And another foul ball. Ready on one and two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Braves. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. The head-to-head -head line against Garcia. One for six. Rounded down the third baseline to his right, Garcia. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Braves. And these guys can really defend. All you got to do is look at the air call. They're in the top five fewest airs in the league. They don't beat themselves very often. You're going to have to earn it to beat them. Ready now, Matt Harvey as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. And there are our umpires for this one. Working balls and strikes will be Mr. Daryl Parker. Now, Matt, Daryl Parker's one of those guys, you're going to take him to dinner. You know what he's going to order? Steak and potatoes. He is basic. He's going to make sure he does not make a mistake. No sushi, no lasagna. He's not going off the board. Steak and potatoes, man, right here, consistent. In is Curtis Granderson. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. 
And Granderson trying to work his way aboard. He's got it to three and one now. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing, so I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. Granderson rounds the corner and is headed home. And he'll be tagged out heading toward the plate. And with that, the inning is over. Mets strand one. They're up two to nothing. So here's Matt Kemp now. Took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Two strikes now from Harvey. Swing and a liner. But this is going to get foul. Now another 0 2. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. I like the high fastball 0 and 2. Now I know he's sitting 1 and 2, but you showed him a great fastball. Now he's got to honor that, and you can set him up with anything. Now another 1 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Swing and a little blooper to center. Walker ranging into the outfield. One out. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Swing and a liner. On to first, and Markakis is retired two away. Adonis Garcia digs in now. Career numbers against Matt Harvey have yielded just a two for 12. Two and one. HR these Mets as they enter play here tonight they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Well Matt I mean the simple way to put it they lost their last and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Braves are shut down one two three they trail it here two to nothing. Here's your one he was able to plate two with a base hit in his first appearance. Pitch on the way. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The next 3 2. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Well, he went for the big the swing right and ends up getting 19. a swinging bunt. You couldn't have rolled Jay the ball any better. Bruce. Starts off the inning. Here we go. We're off and flying. A leadoff single. Digging in for his second at bat, Jay Bruce, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's the payoff pitch, and there he goes toward second. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. He'll try it again, 3 and 2. He's on the move again from first. Squared that one up just a little late. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Sent on the ground out to second. The second for one. On to first. A double play. Made him throw a lot of pitches in that at bat, but he'll take the double play as a trade off for sure. Striding in once again, Neil Walker. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. In tight with the slider two and two. Now that's that old school slider right there trying to get in on his hands. We see that with a cutter a lot but the slider is even more effective because you can't pick up the spin. Markakis is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. 
Mets go down quickly, but they hold a 2 nothing lead. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Stepping in now, Dansby Swanson. And that one stayed too low, apparently. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. And ooh, might have thought it was high, but it's a strike three and two now. Here comes the payoff pitch. Hit hard on the ground to third. There to get it is right. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting, Jaime Garcia. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Down in order go the Braves. They're down two to nothing. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as the left-handed hitting slugger Lucas Duda starts out the inning. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Ready for another chance? David Wright. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And the pitch on two and one. A tough sinker on the inside corner. Two runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Lined into left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Duda rounds third and is digging for the plate. Now the relay home. And he is under the tag of Flowers safe at the plate. This is an easy decision for him to try for third because he has the play right in front of him. So he doesn't have to rely on any of his base coaches. Good decision to keep chugging and he makes it all the way around safely. Now it looks like the Braves are going to get a lefty up and throwing in their bullpen. Into the box now, Travis Darno. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Well, you can't fall back any further. This team they're playing right now is just too good. They're one of the best teams in the league, and they capitalize on mistakes. you got to get out of this inning if you want to have a chance to win this game. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Swanson picks it up. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. And here with the infield back, they were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. Striding into the box, Matt Harvey comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Now a sinker's low off the outside corner, two balls and a strike. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Swanson scoops it up. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now batting. Ready for another shot now. Curtis Granderson. A couple of walks for him thus far. Four runs, five hits. 
And no errors on the Mets line score so far. That misses and we're even at two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Right side and right into the shift. They'll whip this one to first in time and that ends the inning. So two runs on just one hit in the inning. No errors and no one left on base. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Mets are out on top. Four to nothing. Here's Ender Inciarte back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. The second baseman, number four. Here's Brandon, Brandon Phillips. Phillips. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here's another 0-2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Well, no surprise on that one. That's the classic slider down the way, trying to get him to chase on that 0-2 pitch. Lifted in the air out to center field. Granderson is under it. Two down. Baseman number five, Freddie So striding in, Freddie Freeman. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Too high that time, and it's 3 and 1. Well, he falls behind 3 1 right now, but man, he's really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. In there, and it's full 3 and 2. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs. And that one was able to find the zone. Now he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And that's going to land foul. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Braves are set down one, two, three. They're on the short end of a four nothing score. John Banks is going to take over now here in inning number brain. five, so it'll be a number bullpen 50. game from here on out. Here now is his Dribble Cabrera. Lifetime against this pitcher. 12 hits in 43 tries. Two of those hits were for home runs. Hit back up the middle. And Cabrera is going to have himself a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the fifth. Well, Matt, he's really been struggling recently, but this is the third hit of the game right here. Maybe we're seeing signs that he's really going to start to come out of it and maybe stay out of it. Nobody out, runner on first. Skied into straightaway right. Kemp has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The right fielder, number 19. Stepping in and ready Jay for another shot. Bruce. Jay Bruce. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Now some action in the Braves' bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. And Markakis won't get there. It's a foul ball. Ball two. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. Another 2 2 offering. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Here's another 2 2. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it 2 and 2. The 
2 2 one more time. There goes Cabrera. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. This one's flared toward left center. Marquecas is calling for it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Neil, Neil Walker in his career versus this pitcher. Just a one for nine. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Mets leave one, but they hold a four to nothing lead. So here's Matt Kemp now. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. It'd be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Boy, that's an ugly swing right there, and they haven't been getting on base. They're not doing much of anything right now. And I'll tell you what, they got to figure out something to make an adjustment, or this game could get ugly quick. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. And there's one that misses to Kemp as he works it back to two and two. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. It's a solo shot here for Matt Kemp. Sixth home run on the season for him. As they get on the board, it's 4-1 to one now. Yeah, and that's what you call a dream scenario or an absolute nightmare, depending on your viewpoint. A power pitcher on the bump and a power hitter at the plate. A plus B equals C you later. It's simple math, folks. Standing in now, Nick Markakis. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Grounded to short, taken there by Cabrera. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Third baseman, number 13, Adonis, Adonis Garcia. Garcia digs in now. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. A strike, and it's three and one. Here comes the 3 1 pitch. A uh, fastball right over the outside corner. Matt, I thought he might be in jeopardy of walking the guy here for the first time in this game. Went down 3-0, but he's come all the way back 3-2 now, and I think he'll just make the guy put it in play or put one on the corner. He's going that good. And Bruce has got this one two away now. Now batting, catcher, Tyler. Flowers. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And a changeup right down the middle. Well, he gave up that leadoff home run, and I thought, uh oh, he's in trouble. But he's done a nice job bouncing back. Got two quick outs, and now he's got two strikes on this hitter. He's got a chance to get out of this unscathed the rest of the way. To two balls and two strikes now. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Harvey sets his sights. Here's the three and two. And a fastball misses their ball four. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base. So we'll see if they can get something going here. Coming to the plate now, Dansby Swanson comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he takes a cold strike two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. That gets down and the inning continues. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Whoa, back now to back, back, back sliders. Now the first one was almost like a practice pitch. He saw the spin. The second one, he recognized and got the base hit. 
Kirk Suzuki will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Two down, runners at first and second. Liner toward right center. Flowers is on his way home. The runner scores from second, and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a 4-2 game. I always believe the best hitters are the ones that can stay on the ball and use the whole field. Right there is a perfect example. Ball away, he stays with it and shoots it the opposite direction. In now, Ender Inciarte. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Cespedes is over. The runner from second crosses the plate. Well, you can see what happens here. He's so focused on lining up to make his throw that he forgets one small detail. You got to catch it first so he gets tagged with an error as well he should. Into the box, Brandon Phillips. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Out in front here is Phillips as he lifts a high drive onto deep left field. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. So a three-run blast is straight away left. Sixth home run on the season for him, and it's now six to four. Well, he tried to sneak the fastball by him, and like they always say, you can't sneak the cheese by the rat, particularly if it's up high like that one right there. Into the box now, Freddie Freeman. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. One two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. Two strike back foot slider. That's a classic pitch. Nice job of laying off of that. Yanked on the ground down the line. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Great recognition. He's looking for a ball up. The breaking ball hung, and he stayed with it. When they're up high, let it fly. When they start out low, you got to let it go. Stepping in now, Matt Kemp. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Cespedes is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. All told, 10 men come to the plate here. Six of them score. Five innings complete. It's the Braves six and the Mets four. Josh Kalmenter takes over to start the sixth the inning on the mound. Number 55, Josh Kalmenter. Ready once again, Lucas Duda. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Got to find the strike zone. Here's the 3 0. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. And that's what you want from your leadoff the hitter. Shows some five. great patience and David discipline, Wright. making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. In now, David Wright. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Inciarte is right there, one down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting, catcher, Travis Darno. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. 0 for 2 with a run batted in for him thus far. He's set. Here's the 3-1. And a good cut there, but it's chopped foul at the plate, and it's full now, three and two. Eight, one 
Runners on the move for second. But he won't draw a throw. That's taken for ball four, and it's first and second now with one away. Man, that's just the painful for a pitcher right there. Matt a 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Jose Reyes will get the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. First and second now, one man out. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. Number three, Curtis Granderson. Into the box, Curtis Granderson. He swings and grounds it to short, and he will deliver one of the biggest at bats of the night. It's a base hit. One run scores. That's a big base hit right there. Now you've moved the tying run to third base with just one out. And there's a lot of things the offense can do now. Will they sack bunt? Will you get a sacrifice fly? Would they steal the runner from first and first and third? Maybe still. Matt, this is so exciting. There's so many possibilities. Into the box now as Drupal Cabrera. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. The 3 2 one more time. Hit hard on the ground to first. There's one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. Mets play the run on a couple of hits. The five, six, and seven slots do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Braves six and the Mets five. Hansel Robles enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 47, Hansel Robles. Digging in to try it again, Nick Markakis. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. One and one, here it comes. Not much behind this as this ball is looped over toward first. But no problem at first, and that's the first out. Ready for another Adonis. shot now. Adonis Garcia. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. This one's chopped foul right at the plate. The count moves now to 1 and 2. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Here's another one, two. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Cabrera there for this one at short. Scooped up. In time to first, and there are two away. Now batting. Catcher. Now at the plate, Tyler, Tyler Flowers. Flowers. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Into the windup. Here's the 2 and 1 pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Branderson is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Braves. As it remains a 6-5 ball game. Back here at SunTrust Park. Seventh inning straight ahead with the Braves leading this one. But before we get it started, let's take a look there at the game summary to this point. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area. And I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Chaz Rowe is in out of the Steve bullpen Chase now as he'll be inserted into the number now, six spot the following six the double spot. switch number 51 Sean Rodriguez Chad is into Rowe. the ball game as well as now he'll slide into the pitcher spot, spot hitting ninth now on number the double 15, switch Sean and so now the Braves Rodriguez. will get both a left hander and a right hander up and throwing in the bullpen 
Here's the 3-0 pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything right close. So I think this is the way to go here. Jane Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring in the right fielder, Jay Bruce. Ready with the 1-1 one, one pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches. Attack the strike zone early. A lot of deep. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Here's the pitch on two and two. Now this is popped up behind the plate for Flowers. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down. Here's Neil Walker. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Hits softly on the ground to first. By the throw pulls him off the bag. Wow, this manager must be pulling his hair out. Not only does he have to deal with this pitcher walking people, now he's got to deal with his defense tripping all over themselves. Here's Lucas Duda now, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready on one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. He's set. Here's the two two. Hard hit ball to second. And this is past to diving Phillips a base hit. Now a long throw to third. I love the late inning at bats when you come up clutch right there. Big hit to tie this game. Number five, David Wright. Stepping in now, David Wright. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. And he will not have a play behind him. It's an infield single. So definite problems on that last play, and they'll hit the first baseman for the error. Travis Darno. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. He's got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. One and one here it comes. Fastball runs in tight here and it's two and one. Boy he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Inside, Wanted to go three. after the slider, but he holds off three and one. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Freeman is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. The Michael Conforto will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 30, Michael Conforto. Chopped down the first baseline, but it's a foul ball, says the first base umpire. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Two men are on with two men out. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Inciarte will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So two runs on just one lone hit. Two costly errors and a couple of men left. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. Mets out in front seven to six.
Your Fernando Salas gets the call now from the pen to take York. over on the mound and Number start the 59. home seven. Fernando Salas. Digging in and looking for more, Dansby Swanson for his career in this matchup. A perfect two for two. Ready to deal, here's the 1-1. One -one. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff no, hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, baseman. in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. One and one, here it is. Weak chopper up the line, but it gets foul. Faces are empty, one man out. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Brandon Phillips in his career against this pitcher. He's gone two for six. He also has one home run. There goes the runner. Pitch is high. The throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too, but he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. On the oh, but a dive will knock this down. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that will compound matters even further. Got the go-ahead run at third base. We've got two outs. Let's see how this is going to unfold. Matt, this is getting really exciting. Who can come up with the clutch two-out hit? Or can he deliver the pitch he wants to in the clutch? And he'll take first here on the intentional walk. So make it runners at the corners now with two away. That's what's called getting the treatment. Everyone knows he's a power threat with the bat. So it's all about not letting him be the guy that beats you. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. Swing and a ball pulled foul into the lower level and left. Oh, he definitely got away with the changeup right there. He hung that one. But the good news is he got him to pull it foul. Now you come back after him with another push. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And the go-ahead run will score from third as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead in the ball game, you feel good about yourself, and his teammates are pumped up as well. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Throw on to first, and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. So it's two runs on two base hits, one error, and two men left on base. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Braves lead it, 8-7. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Your Ian Kroll please. will come on to pitch here, and he'll move into the Atlanta. number five spot now in the lineup the now on the double spot. switch. Number Emilio Bonifacio Ian is into the Kroll. ball game as well as a part now of that Brian aforementioned double the switch spot. as he'll take over number in the number 64. six spot in the lineup. Emilio now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. set here comes the 1 1 takes a look at one catching the outside corner hard liner but picked up on a hop 
throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Sometimes we use the phrase runs coming at a premium but it's fair to say that none of us will be saying that tonight as we check out our line score neither pitching staff has really even showed up. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He's got three hits including a double to this point. One one pitch coming now to Cabrera. Well hit but also well fouled into the seats and left. One out nobody on. Look out that one almost got away from him two and two now. Here's the pitch. Swing and a soft liner. A diving try but it's through into the outfield. Well when your average is down that low you'll take any kind of hit. He'll take that all day long right there. Yoannis Cespedes. Standing in now, Joanna Cespedes. He swings and grounds it to short. To second for one. On to first, and he really paid the price at second base, but it's a double play, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. And this one remains tight. It's eight to seven. Striding into the box, Emilio Bonifacio. And he's getting his first plate right, appearance here in the eighth after entering Number off the bench just a little bit ago. Jerry Blevins is Jerry on the pitch here in the Levin. eighth with nobody out. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to 1 and 2 now. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Again, a one two. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Seems like he's thrown everything at him the kitchen sink, and he just fouled him off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase, and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. So it was a strikeout looking there. Emilio Bonifacio becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. Here's the one one. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Cespedes is there. And that ends the inning. Jay Bruce will be the one to lead us off when we return. It's the Braves 8 and the Mets 7. Jim Johnson comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Jim Johnson. Riding in once again, Jay Bruce. He'll lead things off against Jim Johnson, who looks for the save in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch to first. Freeman's got it, and he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. Now batting, second baseman, Neil Walker. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Neil Walker. Looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Here it comes on one and one. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. One and two, here it comes. Swing and a liner, but foul. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Now another 2 2. 
And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. First baseman number 20. Digging in once again, Lucas, Lucas Duda. Duda. His lifetime numbers against Jim Johnson. He's gone two for five. Here's the one and one delivery. Close pitch, but just a bit outside. He wanted it, but it's two and one. Tough spot in the game right here. You have a very close call that doesn't go your way. This is when you have to really regroup as a pitcher and go out there and try to make quality pitches. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Ball three. Three and two now. David Wright would be next. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw to first will be in time to get him. And the Braves have taken the first three games in this four-game set. They'll look to sweep tomorrow as the ball game is over. A one-run finish, an 8-7 to seven game tonight. Chaz Rowe gets the win in relief his second of the year. Jim Johnson closes the door for the save his seventh of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight for my partners in the booth Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show and for more click on over to the shownation.com. score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Eight runs, seven hits, two errors. 20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field, and Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall, and Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat, a ringing double off the 375 marker, and we have seen that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr. Fly ball, center field. Nancy on the run, still going on the way.